I'm gonna show you how to make your streams more interesting so that your viewers are more engaged and you can just ultimately have a lot more fun. Using face filters on stream can be pretty unique. Not a lot of people use them. Actually, I haven't seen anyone do it, so this will be interesting. And you can do this all for free, so you don't need any fancy software or subscriptions to be able to do this. It's just a simple app that you download and you can put it all into your streaming software. I used these filters on stream a few weeks ago and chat really enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun as well. So let me know if you want to see it more regularly. Maybe I'll put a potato of my face on stream. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that's what you want to see. And while you're there, let me know which of the filters you see in this video are your favorite. Now these filters are so smart that when you rotate or turn your head, the face filters do the same. So you can see more of the ear if you rotate your head one side and so on. And it's not just face filters that you get with this. You can get full body ones too, which are rare, but pretty unique and a lot of fun. Some of these filters are good and a lot of these filters are not. A bunch of them are just pretty useless or they don't interact very well or sometimes they just don't even look good so if you want to have a good list to start out from check these out they're really good a great start to have and uh, they're pretty funny at least a lot of them especially if you're used to seeing me with a beard or hair <laughs> Uh, they can be pretty scary sometimes. <laughs> and if that quick list was helpful, leave a like on the video, that'd be appreciated. This is my full-time job, help YouTube push the video out to everyone else. It means a lot, thank you. So I'm gonna show you how to set up these filters, but also how to put it into your stream, whether it's Streamlabs OBS, oh no, they changed it to Streamlabs Desktop. I'm gonna say that wrong a lot of times. Uh, OBS Studio, XSplit, whatever stream software you use, you can use this app, then send the video from the app to whatever source uh, you wanna put it in so that it runs pretty smoothly on even Zoom. So you can uh, you can use it on your Zoom calls if you wanted to. So without further ado, let's get started on how to set this all up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and click the download button here. And remember, we have some system requirements here. It's nothing too crazy, just as long as you have some type of i3 2.5 gigahertz or better, or you can use an AMD FX 4300 with 2.6 gigahertz with four gigabytes of RAM. If you have anything better than that, then this will work just fine. This is also compatible with Windows 10 or Mac. So it, it doesn't matter what operating system you have that'll still work and then once you agree to all of this stuff i'm gonna go ahead and agree put on your email make sure you're not a robot and then i'm gonna go ahead and download it for pc now once that downloads downloaded i'm gonna go ahead and click it and i should be able to install it just like any other program okay once it's installed we'll just go ahead and we'll launch the snap camera app go ahead and finish and then once you open the app sometimes it might look like this so here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and close the app, go to our system tray here, right click on the snap camera icon here. We're gonna go ahead and quit, then control shift escape. We're gonna open our task manager here. Let's scroll down and find snap camera down here, but we uh, don't have it open, so it's not gonna show up. So we've, we've cleared the program correctly. Let's go ahead and reopen the software. The snap camera is right here. I was looking for a strange icon, a darker icon. This is white. So let's go ahead and kill that. And then once we've ended that task, we can go ahead and reopen the snap camera app here. And then what we can do is under the settings, make sure we choose the camera that you want. So I'm going to choose the CamLink 4K. Now let's choose the camera resolution, which is not showing up, I guess. And I'm going to choose my microphone here. I'm not going to run the snap camera on startup and that should be all right. Right now. now, because I'm running my OBS as an administrator, this is not going to work. So then once I closed OBS and I closed the snap camera again, I went to my task manager here and I closed OBS and I closed the snap camera again. Then what I did is open snap camera first before I open OBS because now it's being used in snap camera instead of OBS as a, a primary camera. And now you can see the preview and you can select a bunch of different filters here and uh, uh, you can do a baby fan. <laughs> I think uh, chatter like this when I'm whining a lot about losing all of those games in Valorant. And then there's Devious Cat. This is interesting. These are featured, which are popular. This is my favorite one here. So you can uh, use all the, go this looks so cool. Look at this. I love this. This looks really nice. And I can't believe that this is actually for free. You can use all of these filters. You can use a lot of these popular filters from Instagram and TikTok and all of that. So this actually, Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
So let's take a look at the hotkeys here. You want to make sure that you have your hotkeys set up so that you can activate these different filters. So you can choose to turn lens or you, you can turn it on and off with your hotkey here. I'm going to add the minus button or actually let's do the plus button. So uh, plus over there. I can only use my uh, numeric keyboard on the side. I can't use my main keys on the keyboard, which is a little bit of an issue for me. Now let's go ahead and uh, do you can toggle the effects on and off so let's just do the minus button let's save that you can choose to take videos and start recording which is also kind of cool so i think we'll stick with that for now so if i activate it with my hotkey here it's going to go ahead and activate that you can see it there and if it has uh variations or you can change things uh, like in the settings button over here you can choose uh trigger different lens effects uh, and this one if i use that hotkey it changes it to a female uh, different different options here so if i select this one I wonder what this one will be. Oh, you can you can uh, either have the background uh, added or uh, it can be changed as well. So pretty useful stuff. Now, how do you add this into OBS Studio? Let me show you how. Okay, so once you're in OBS or Streamlabs OBS, whatever stream software you use, I'm gonna go ahead and add a video capture device. This is going to be my cartoon camera and let's go ahead and select that source, which will be snap camera. And then you'll see there it activates it right there. And uh, let's go ahead and click okay. I'm just gonna scale that up. Now, when I use my hotkey, it'll go ahead and turn it on and you can see I'll just be talking to chat with this really cool cartoon face, which is actually pretty popular on instagram right now if i change it to the other variation you can see again looks pretty cool i have the female one which <laughs> kind of looks pretty cool so <laughs> uh this is actually a lot of fun i'm gonna have this on stream and maybe even use chat to redeem it with channel points so i'll see how to do that and i'll show you how to do that if i get that figured out <laughs> how do i look I look pretty good but let's go around and see what other ones we've got what are the acute ones i'm curious to see what these ones will look like this is a coffee bean face i guess <laughs> i don't know how i feel about being there's some funny ones so uh, i have a, a lot of lipstick on and let's take a look at this one. this one's pretty popular so this is a snapchat filter which a lot of people like <laughs> <laughs> now with a filter that you like you can go ahead and save it with a star at the top there so we can just go to the filters here on our favorites you can select it and it'll go ahead and do it all so uh, pretty neat i like that that's pretty useful now one thing i would like to point out is that without my headphones on you can see if i turn you know this effect is very powerful it's like a 3d effect put on my face so looks pretty good i do say so myself so a pretty powerful tool and it's very easy to use if you guys enjoyed leave a like that'd be really appreciated and if you're new subscribe and stick around for the future i create a whole bunch of streaming tutorials and just content in general so that's a lot of fun remember i created a record label called ampus beats link is down below use it on any platform you want twitch youtube facebook uh, use it in your live streams video content or if you're a media producer or a media company, you can go ahead and use it on your projects for your clients. Uh, all royalty free, DMCA safe, and you don't have to pay anything for it. It's really nice. Listen to it on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, YouTube Music, whatever else there is, you'll find it on there if you search Ampus Beats or links down below. Go check it out. Anyone that listens to the music helps push it out to more users. It lets me create more of this music so that you don't have to pay anything for it and use it for all of your content. Thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot. I'll see you next time, but until then, make something great.